Yeah, hi, my name's Harry Day, and if you look closer, you'll see that my call sign is D-Day. I earned that in an F-4 squadron, uh, well, it seems like a millennia ago, probably almost 25 years ago. Uh, I have about 2,500 hours of F-4 Phantom time, including the most recent time in the Carlings Foundation uh, Phantom 749 here. I flew that aircraft today, and it has not flown in about six years since its last flight and I had a quick trip around the pattern about 20 minutes got my uh, landing currency today and uh, now as it stands probably in the uh, western hemisphere I'm the only current F4 Phantom pilot and I'm pretty proud about that. Um, I'm also honored that the Colleagues Foundation has put the trust in me to fly their aircraft this aircraft has been a project for the Foundation for almost 17, 18 years since it was acquired from the Air Force out of the Boneyard at Davis Monthan. And for most of that time, I've been associated with the College Foundation and flying this aircraft. Uh, there have been a number of periods in between where we've had engines out of the aircraft and it hasn't flown. This most recent period of six years was probably the longest the aircraft had not flown, and that was due to uh, a number of maintenance issues, including a couple of engine changes, uh, an extended 100 hour um, inspection. But over the last year, I've attempted to fly the airplane several times, grounded boarded it for flight controls, and we finally got all the systems up to very close or as close as we could get to former Air Force standards. Uh, the aircraft is very safe and I felt confident today that once we um, started it, taxied that, that we would get the airplane airborne and we did. Um, the weather was not optimum for a long sortie today, but just to get the airplane flying after a six year period and come back and land with no major disgrace again, like I said, it's been an honor to work with the College Foundation to fly their aircraft and it's been an honor working with all of the individuals volunteers who have made this possible so um, that's about all I have to say about this current aircraft awesome we certainly appreciate that D-Day and uh, you're looking at doing a uh, another flight possibly this afternoon possibly if the weather gets better we want to complete the functional check flight checklist, there's a number of items that we accomplished just by getting the aircraft airborne, but there's still quite a few things that I want to do on a test flight to uh, ensure that uh, the aircraft is rigged and up to speed and meets the uh, high standards of an Air Force FCF check flight. That's awesome. Well, we certainly appreciate your time and your, your ability to come out and uh, fly for us needless to say and um, we yep, hope we likewise, have uh, I appreciate that opportunity absolutely yep. well thank you very much sir yep so uh, we're talking to uh, Bob Schuler, the uh, crew chief of uh, the uh, F4 Phantom for the Collings Foundation one of the crew crew chiefs and uh, Bob this is kind of a special day since it's the first time we've flown in uh, quite a few years uh, Care to share some uh, thoughts? Well, it is a special day. 
Uh, it's a culmination of a lot of work, a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of sitting around waiting for stuff to get done from other people. And it's the first time we've flown since uh, 2011. So it's very satisfying and it's very exciting, really. Absolutely. And uh, just uh, tell us what your connection to the airplane is. I started crewing the Phantoms in 1966 with the 15th Fighter Wing at McDill Air Force Base, Florida, the 46th Fighter Squadron. In 1968, I went to Yuban, Thailand, worked with the, and worked with the 8th Wing. I started working with the Collins Foundation in 1999. I walked in, and the guy who was running the uh, program then handed me a rag and said, go to work. <laughs> A little while later, this guy comes walking and he says, hey, where's, where's panel 22? I think that's what he's calling. Where's door 22? And I said, it's right there. Uh, the guy grabbed the rag and said, get your tools. And I've been working on it ever since. From 2002 to 99, I was lead crew chief and aircraft coordinator. Essentially, I ran the program. Awesome. Uh, the aircraft was actually built in 1966, as close as we can figure. Never did any time in Southeast Asia. Flew in England, Spain, Germany. Did TDYs in Libya and Turkey. I uh, came back, flew with the Kansas Guard in Wichita. Finished up his military life here in Houston with the uh, Texas Guard. Right, with the 147th. 147th. Uh, right, right. And that's uh, uh, the colors we found her in, in uh, AMARG. Correct. Put the flag on and everything. We uh, got out of the boneyard in 1999. In 1998, with the Green Wing Bergson Foundation, we get one flyable elephant. And the guys went out to uh, Amark, picked one out. Put a lot of money in it to get it flying, painted it, and uh, we've been flying it on and off ever since. The tail number we have was painted to replicate the aircraft that Robin Olds flew to lead Operation Bolo, which was the most successful air operation in the Vietnam War. Right, and he got a couple kills during got, that time. He got one kill during Bolo, I think. No, two kills. Two. Uh, the wing got nine kills in 17 minutes. Wow. Uh, we figured the, uh, the tail number. There were several that we were looking at. And finally we came down to 680 and 829, which is Robin's aircraft that's in the Air Force Museum. Uh, 